today we're going to do two things. Check out a piece of gear and compare the sound difference between 9 volt batteries. You heard me right. We're going to literally compare the difference of sound of the 9 volt batteries. I don't really hear it yet. So the guys at Dane Electro sent me this battery billionaire, vintage battery 9 volt power supply. And when they said vintage, I thought, oh, vintage look, you know, it's kind of got a classic car look to it. Uh, it's all painted, it's die cast metal. Opens up really cool. Put four 9 volt batteries in there. Obviously, you have four different power ports. You see where this is going. Little on off switch. Really cool idea. Basically, stick this on your pedal board, power four pedals with batteries, be able to quick change those batteries, whether or not your pedals have the ability to put batteries in them or if they do, but it's awkward to kind of pull them off the Velcro, pull everything apart and get underneath there with a screwdriver. This is a really cool idea. But what's this um, quick, well, quick battery change makes sense. What's this better tone stuff? So doing a lot of research, I was very aware of the fact that there's always been this talk about the old batteries sound different on pedals than the new batteries. So the new batteries are alkaline and the old batteries are zinc based batteries. But what about the sound difference thing? <laughs> So let's get into that. I'm really, really interested in that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug the uh, vintage battery into the first terminal of this unit and plug it in the alkaline into the second terminal. So what we're going to do is go ahead and use the Lawrence Petros Design 68 drive pedal. And I'm going to go ahead and run the power into it. And let's go ahead and we'll start with the first one, which will be the vintage battery. We're going to take the uh, PRS amp on clean, run the 68 drive in front of it. I'm going to run the drive at full blast, uh, run it into a Marshall cab mic'd up, and we'll just hear the difference between the two batteries. So the only thing we'll change is I'm going to change the uh, plug uh, by changing the plug into the different terminals of the battery. So a lot of you guys know that this is really a good trick for fuzz pedals as well. And it makes sense. Essentially, the power source of a pedal is no different than an amplifier having a power section. That's why pedals have 9 volt and 18 volt power supply options on a lot of overdrives. But I did ha enjoy certain things about the vintage style batteries over the alkaline batteries. What I did want to point out is that I've experienced pedals with a, basically a dampening switch or a sag switch on them. And what's funny is this effect is exactly like that. On a lot of those pedals that have that option, I tend to sag the pedal. So it doesn't really surprise me that I prefer the vintage style battery, battery with the sag sound over the newer style battery. Now, what's really cool about this is you don't have to have the fancy box to do this, although it is a really cool power supply. And I recommend if you're interested in something like that, maybe checking it out. But more importantly, it's an easy thing to do. Just take two nine volt batteries and try this at home. You can feel it even more than you can hear it almost like a tube amp versus solid state amp or a square wave versus a round wave. It, it has a feeling to it that's even more, uh, I guess, predominant than the sound. So at home, try these two batteries. It's fun. It's an inexpensive thing to do. Maybe you'll learn a little bit. And also, it may help you with understanding why some power supplies have a way of kind of like very acting that down. In other words, you can turn down the voltage somewhere between nine and four volts. And uh, in my experience, sagging it, you know, to maybe like seven volts, gives you kind of that same kind of sound. Thank you for uh, checking this out with me today. And if you enjoyed this video, then check out some other videos. And if you like those videos, maybe even subscribe. I want to thank you for your time and uh, know your gear.